Welcome back for an update on our FA24 supercharged Race 86. Those that have been following the car know we've had the chassis for over 10 years and has been through a number of upgrades during that time. In the last 12 months, our engineers have been hard at work at powertrain and driveline upgrades. As much as we love competing and going faster, the car is an R&D testbed that gives us the opportunity to validate and stress our products before we sell it to market. The engine package is now an FA24 built by DeShell in Sydney. They've used a stock block that we supplied and crankshaft with upgraded rods, pistons and FA20 heads that we took off the old engine. It still runs the TVS 1320 supercharger and at Time Attack this year we are running around 19 pounds of boost for around 450 hub horsepower. The brakes we had upgraded last year to our new forged ultimate monoblocks. The tyres are now a 295 at each corner. They're on forged line GS1R 18 by 11 wheels and it's a 295-35 Yokohama AO52, a much better tyre than the AD08R that we ran in previous years, and the times coming down reflect that. Our great friends at Hollinger worked with us to upgrade the RD6 H pattern to the sequential with paddle shift. We also took the opportunity to put Bosch Motorsport ABS, which made a dramatic difference working with the new brakes in picking up time under braking. The nice thing about the new FA24 engine is it makes a little bit more torque everywhere. We're running a little bit less boost than when it was a two litre, and we're making a similar power level of 450 horsepower at the hubs. Ben Schutz, our driver, did a great job at World Time Attack this year, lowering the time from 2019 by about four seconds. Let's check out the lap. It's a credit to our entire team for the awesome result we had up in Sydney at World Time Attack. Getting the car back down to our dyno, we were keen to develop the engine further and see what the potential is on this FA24, while our brand new GR86 has actually arrived. So let's look at the numbers once we turn up the boost to over 20 PSI on the race car. We're certainly impressed with the lap time and the power that this little car can produce. With the FA24 and over 20 pounds of boost on E85 to make over 500 horsepower to the hubs, we have the FA20 kits available for the two-litre car on our Harrop USA and Harrop Australia websites. 
and we're working hard finalising the development of our GR86 FA24 production kit and we'll reveal that very soon. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.